welcome to another video by Regal Eye Tech. Hey, if you like this, please click so for me. And if you haven't subscribed, then please. And thanks. Hey, do remember to follow Regal Eye Tech on Instagram, where you can see live videos and, and see random tech stuff. the sim card tray and you've already put on your bumper cover you can still do so let's get our sim card tool There it is. Now this is for a nano SIM card. Shows the serial number. Yes, that is the serial number of the device displayed here. Let's put a SIM card in here. SIM card loaded, ready to charge. Eighteen watt power supply included. So the adapter here is USB C. You just go ahead and plug that in. The unit will power up on its own. first screen is asking for which language you prefer to use for the setup wizard. So this is the welcome screen. I notice when you close the screen, it, it by default wants to use one of the screens as if it was a phone mode. So since the earpiece is over on this one, you can bring the bring the screen over to this side by double tapping wait a minute wait what's happening here uh, there we go wait if you wanted to bring it to this side double tap so wait what's happening here it's not working right I think most probably because it's not all the way booted to the operating system which I think would be responsible for taking over and being able to perform that function of switching back and forth to the screens properly. I am just assuming here, but I won't hold anything against the device just yet because again, this is just the very first screen, so I can't expect all the features to perform as intended. So let's go ahead and just get through this setup.
connect to your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and connect the unit to your Wi-Fi. There's an update pending on a brand new device. What do you know? Thanks Microsoft for keeping us up to date with daily news. I mean daily updates. There it goes. Serious, every time you lock it, you're gonna need the passcode again. Traditional Android feel when you swipe down from the top of either screen. If I wanted to just bring settings over to this screen, I can go like that. Wait, where to go? Where to go? Let's bring this up. There it is. Just drag that over there. Pretty simple. The square button here at the bottom tells you what's running out there on this screen or this screen. If I want to get rid of it. That way. Add an account and outlook. Very fluid movement thus far. I like the feel of it. Stay tuned for the next video. We could see what else the Surface Duo can do besides moving windows from one screen to the next. To do so, by the way, you just grab the white handlebar at the bottom, that white line, and you go ahead and swipe up and then swipe to either the left or the right screen and release. Do remember to subscribe and share tech family most importantly for me. Hit like if you like, comment for tips if you don't, or whatever you'd like to share. We can co-enlighten each other. Give thanks.